How's it going, you guys? Today we're going to go over my last match at this particular tournament. As you can see, it's a loss by a bow and arrow choke. This tournament match in particular showed me my biggest weakness, and my coach actually called it. My coach said that you're going to end up turtling, and they're going to take advantage of it. It's exactly what I did. Uh, this match frustrated me, and I covered a lot of uh, holes in my game that I've been working on since. Though I lost, I'm super uh, thankful this loss happened. I think it'll help progress my my game. Go Tanner! Go Tanner! Regret fighting. He pulls guard. It's pretty common. Working my guard passing, working my guard passing. Uh, I made the mistake of letting him get close guard. In hindsight, I have a better way of breaking close guard. I'm also nervous. This is the first time I've done in two years, two to three years. Goes for an on bar. Went to escape that pretty good. But he's putting on good pressure. I'm doing my best to get out. And now he's just kind of hugging down on me, so he's not like move too much. But I end up getting out by bridging. I'm able to move. And he tried to stall me out there for a little bit. That's, that's the tactic they use. Doing a bad job of keeping grips in particular. So that's something I need to work on as well. Grips, grips, grips. I need to remember. So I fake and pull, and he does the same thing to me. And that was kind of the, the not very well thought out game plan I had in my head. Once it didn't work, I I guess the best way I could put this to match is, is rusty. Really rusty, and he's on top again, north south position. I turtle and I turtle, and that's my my instinct was to turtle. You're gonna see he gets that collar grip and jumps over straight to bow and arrow choke. He got me. This is one of the examples of I know I'm capable of so much more, and when I didn't get the results I wanted, it made me want to train that much harder. Um, I hope one day to look back on this and see how much I've grown. Even in the past few months of training, I've grown tremendously from this. I don't see myself making the same mistake. Even for example, going to turtle. You see, I go to turtle out of, honestly, because I'm tired. Tired and nervous and adrenaline kind of got me, got me, got me going in the wrong way. But as I bridge right here, now I would have shrimped right about there to regain my guard and then work from there. But instead I panic and stay turtled. And people uh, who specialize in back back attacks, you know, shouldn't give them your back and just sit there. It was a big mistake on my part. But I hope to learn from this. And, uh, thank you guys for watching.